You can run a Postman flow locally with the Run button, and you can also run a flow in Postman Cloud using a webhook. To do that, you'll need to deploy your flow to build and run your flow in the Postman Cloud. And here we have a webhook URL. Let's copy this to our clipboard and open up a new tab and see what it looks like to trigger our webhook via URL. And under the body, if we need to send sample data, we can do that here in the request body and send. So we have a successful response, and this is how you trigger a webhook URL to run your flow. If we go back to our flow, you can see the webhook events. Here you'll see a log of all the triggering of the webhook. And if we need to update our flow, we can return back to the editor and collapse this and make all of our changes here. So we can continue editing the flow and once we make edits, we'll want to make sure we once again build and run the flow on the cloud to update the deployed flow. If you want to do some debugging, um, you can view the deployed flow and then open up the console to view live logs if you're debugging. And then during development, if you want to send sample data to kick off your webhook, you can use the start block and configure data to live in your start block to kick off your flow. Let's try it out. So using that webhook URL, we've set up a Slack app called Recipe Bot to get a recipe for dish category. Let's return a recipe bot for seafood. Now this is kicking off, well, that was pretty quick, but that triggered the webhook URL that we have running on Postman Cloud and our Slack bot was configured to return some sort of seafood pasta salad with a link to the YouTube. So if you want to dig into that or you want to format it slightly differently, you can go back to your deployed flow and then find the block that formats that response and edit it. And again, once you edit, you'll want to make sure you redeploy to build and run your flow in the cloud.